What was the first time? Where'd you lose your virginity? No. <laughs> first question. Uh, Bam. Uh, 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 I made 60000 last year. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Oh, my God. I'm divorced. <laughs> she cheated on me with a midget. <laughs> Right. <laughs> it is our show. We are back in the studio again. <laughs> Sue, Sue's already we are. Off, on a shot. Uh, so yeah, it's the Mind Reels on Smithy TV. Uh, I'm still Tim. This is still Sue. Mm-hmm. Sue, we are we are we are genre fans in a huge way. We are. And and last year when the showcase was kind enough to send me a little show called Defiance, they sent me the first what three four episodes I think yeah. it was, and I think I watched all you three episodes back to back like three times in a row. So I was kind of addicted, so yeah. it was kind of... I had to actually wait for it to air, because I was like, I wouldn't you know what, over. never mind, we're yeah. too close now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to watch it on TV, like regular folks. <laughs> like regular folks. <laughs> so we've, we've been very lucky. We were on the set a couple mm-hmm. weeks ago now. We, Of course, we're friends with uh, with the awesome Trina Keating, and you know Nicole. And now we've got Sukar in the studio, or rather Noah Danby. <laughs> so welcome to the studio, sir. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's just get that out of the way. I'm a huge fan. I'm not stalker crazy fan, but I'm a huge fan of the show. Uh, we have that in common. I love the show too. <laughs> right? Like, I do. I would watch, like we watch it like religiously when it's on. Yeah, is... We don't download it. We no, I it. <laughs> don't download it. <laughs> I bought it on Blu-ray. Right? I made up for it. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I still have to get it. <laughs> I was like, what? And then, yeah, I, I had a very meta, very meta moment when uh, I borrowed the game to play from Trina Keating. So I've got the Defiance game at home. I have Doc Ewell's copy <laughs> of the game Defiance at home. How is the game? It's fun. Yeah? I'm, you know, it's I can take it or leave it. I, I don't game addictively. I, I will game for like maybe a month, and then I'll put it aside, and I won't play a game for like, Six months, and then I'll bring it back out and play it again for a month. So, yeah, when Sukar makes it into the game, I'll get it. And I'll play See, it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> How could he not, really? I mean, he's, he's he there. never dies. All my friends, <laughs> all my, I did a, a, a game, I need, a need for Speed Carbon. Mm. I did a, a character in that game, and uh, all my friends, all my pothead friends, they were like, <laughs> 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 like oh my god. <laughs> Call Noah! Oh my god! And I'm getting calls and everything. No, I'm playing you right now! <laughs> That's great, Dave. That's great. See you, Rob. Bye. Time difference. Time difference here. <laughs> Noah, I'm playing you right now! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so that's at least three pothead fans that we know about that right there. <laughs> so there's three. I've got two. Two-ish, maybe? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't care. But we uh, <laughs> we do like to find out a little bit about who we're interviewing, and we find out the best way to do that is find out your favorite movie of oh, all guys, time. Come on. All time. Deserted Island. Or one of. Yeah. I, right away, Lawrence of Arabia. Ooh, nice. nice. Uh, I don't think anybody's picked that before. I don't think so either. I like Guinness. Pure tool. I, know, I love them. I love oh, them all. Sure. And I, Anthony Quinn. I just, yeah. It just yeah. sticks out of my head. Like, And honestly, like... Right away when, uh, it's funny you asked that, because right away I took that character and related him to Sukar in Defiance. Oh, cool. You know what? I can see that. Yeah. You know, yeah. I need to go back and revisit that. I haven't watched that. I'm not with any, many other layers like to that character, but that was the first one that just popped in my head, this leader of the, the Bedouin tribe and this leader of this Iraqi right? tribe. Yeah. A very strong spiritual sense, and, you know, stuck in his ways. Yeah, cool. That's a good <laughs> And now like one it. more reason for me to go back and watch Lawrence of Arabia <laughs> again. Because I needed an excuse. My uh, my father was a really good friend of uh, Anthony Quinn, too. And uh, they were both artists. Mm-hmm. And they had a showing at, this, at, uh, at a gallery, uh, Joseph D. Carrier Art Gallery. Um, on Lawrence. Anyway. Um, and and they, my dad had him over for dinner. And my dad was asking him questions about it. Back in that day, like uh, Anthony would do his a lot of his own makeup and yeah. whatnot, and he yeah. would prosthetic piece on his on his, for his nose mm-hmm. to give that really sharp angular nose, and uh, and he went into the makeup trailer and and said uh, when he got his makeup on and he had his wardrobe on and he got it all and he came out and the director had lined up all the extras uh, and there were hundreds of them right? <laughs> and some of them were actual Bedouins mm-hmm. I guess anyway they were all and they all stood up. 
and they are all chanting and waving, Abu Abu wow. Dai, Abu Abu Dai. Oh man. And like he just, I mean, my, I get goosebumps thinking about that, but that's just, an actor. Right? Wow. It's just, yeah, it's sick. <laughs> wow. But yeah, you of course you've done tons of stuff. You uh, grew up here in Guelph. Well, not here in Guelph, but in Guelph. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, so Guelph, so when did you know that that's what you wanted? That you wanted to act? Oh, right in high school. Uh, Damn, my right. my high school teacher, my high school football coach in grade nine, it was uh, the theater teacher uh, John F. Ross, collegiate, and he uh, he had taught both of my older brothers, and, and uh, but he saw something special in me and said, "Come on, I need you involved in these uh, in these plays that I'm doing." So. I stopped playing basketball and started the, with the theater season wow. instead. Because I was a real jock and I did all the sports. <laughs> and Doesn't show. Y- y- yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I still do. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then we, we did the Sears Drama Festival, which is like the big festival yeah. for high school students around. And uh, and I started winning awards. His place, he was amazing. And he, was, he, he treated acting and, and the theater arts as a discipline, mm-hmm. which was, uh, which I, which, Probably made me gravitate to it uh, in the way that I did, and uh, and and he really I didn't do very well in the beginning too, like in the scholastic part because he put that on us too, like wow. a lot of reading, a lot of essays, and and uh, lighting designs, like all in high school, and uh, and so we did all that and we got our we had exposure to every sort of side of it, and uh, but you know for me it was the performance side that really stuck out. I won awards and all that sort of stuff, and then just I knew. That was it. I, from the rush that I got, from the feeling of, uh, you know, I was encouraged because I was doing well, and then I just kept going. Went to Guelph University and Ryerson, mm-hmm. and uh, and then right when I graduated from Ryerson, I, I, I was doing uh, summer stock, and then doing a, a TV series. But then I, and that summer, I booked a movie, uh, Marciano, with John Favreau and George C. Scott. Was mm-hmm. in the movie. Oh man! Yeah, it was wicked, and I was, I was just riding the wave, and have been ever since. You know, there's lows and highs, but it's been really good. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, because we're awesome. like George C. Scott and John Favreau. That's that was, not tough, oh, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, right. And uh, yeah, it was it was amazing. And for me, I mean, I, I, I yeah, it was sick. It was sick. <laughs> John Favreau, let me just say two words to you. Iron Man. There you go. I know. You could have been right? in there. Yeah. He was, and he was ripped. And then, like, Marciano, like, he played Rocky Marciano. And I played. I'm trying to Ringo. remember that. And he, I was the big Italian rival from. Uh, I guess that's a long time ago now. Uh, from New York, I guess, and he was from Chicago. I think that's how it works. Maybe it was reverse. <laughs> I forget. Anyway, uh, but anyway, it was this big Italian rivalry, and he put the licks to me and the boots to me and just beats <laughs> the hell out of me. But Marciano, being a really cool guy, after that, like he, he ends up really hurting me badly in the ring, and and throughout his life, he looks after Carmine Bingo and always giving him money and looking after him and blah 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 anyway so yeah working with John Favreau was, was really nice right and Penelope and Miller yeah yeah she was <laughs> that's right I haven't seen that since it came out wow yeah I can actually almost see the case on the wall in the video store right <laughs> it always comes yeah. back to like yeah <laughs> for me just that video store just with all those guys lined up right you know it's uh, I was all, I was the young cocky guy right too so you know, coming out of theater school, things are good. Like, is this how easy it's going to be? I'm an actor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, everybody complained about how hard this was, but give me a break. <laughs> and uh, you know, don't get me wrong, I've had hard times since. But it's uh, this. Uh, that was uh, if I was in that in my shoes, then I. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, let me talk yeah, to you over I, here. I admit, like chatting them up, and I was just like, hey, uh, I'm Noah. Nice to meet you. you know. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm in my yeah. Scene. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Awesome. But yeah, you've done so much. And not only do you act, but you, I mean, you stay obviously in great shape. You were just talking about how you just got off of training. Yeah, I train at a, a place in um, martial arts. Like, have been, like, ever since I uh, graduated from high school, I went to Guelph University. Mm-hmm. And I was on the uh, their collegiate team there. Uh, and I was a all Canadian wrestler. Um, but then I, I knew I wanted to go to a, a theater conservatory, so I transferred to Ryerson. And uh, they didn't have anything. Was, I think they had a hockey team, and I wasn't. Oh, yeah. I liked mm. watching hockey, but I wasn't a hockey player. My dad would kill me for saying it, but <laughs> I grew up playing on the on the river. But that was it. Um, um, so I needed something, and it took me a few years to find. I, I wanted a good place to train, and I found a place to train in Toronto. And uh, now I train with uh, one of the guys that I train with. There, he opened up his own school, uh, Master 
Young Ho Wong, and it's it's a Hapkido studio at St. Clair and Bathurst, and it's by far like the best. I've trained all over the world. Like I've trained wow. in South Africa. I've trained in uh, in L.A. with uh, some of the Gracie guys, and uh, and in Vancouver as well, doing Muay Thai. And uh, this place is just above and beyond the best studio I've ever been to. Yeah. Cool. And I do that. I, I go there probably when I have the time, six days a week. But yeah, as much as I can. And as well as it, it transfers over to to acting. Oh, totally. I know yeah. a lot of people yeah. say that, and, but I, I never wanted to be labeled like a martial artist. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean? You're an actor I'm with an skills. Actor. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Uh, and I was always told to be very careful of that. Muay Thai, though, that's... Oh, it's hard. Yeah. That, Muay Thai yeah. is very hard on the body. I did that for about a year, a uh, year, about two years. And, it, it, you, man, you feel it. <laughs> oh, it's hard. Like, so I, I like the art side of it, too. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, Hapkido can be very hard, but you can also be very soft. I don't have that kind of patience. I mean, I, I, I've actually had a discussion that I want to get out there. I want to start doing something. I'm not a big fan of, like, going to the gym for the sake of going to the gym. I want to go to the gym and learn a skill. That's it. Much like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I know. I just got to convince myself, I guess, that it's to do that. That's the way to go. Yeah, I want to learn, man. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, I want it to be part of my lifestyle, not just something that I do for the sake of yeah, doing right? it. Yeah, right? I mean, I've already got a day job. <laughs> <laughs> don't need anything else. But some people do. They just want to get into the gym and zone out. Yeah. I, meditate, yeah. you know. I get that too, right? Cause I can do that on the TTC home. Yeah. <laughs> Defending yourself. <laughs> <laughs> get away. Get away. <laughs> so many seats would open up. Yeah. <laughs> I just, just came to mind. Have you guys seen the new uh, streetcars in Toronto? Yes. Are they sick? They're I haven't. Gorgeous. I haven't. Oh, I've yeah. only seen, like, pictures of them. Yeah, I haven't actually be- seen them. Oh, they're beautiful. They are gorgeous. They're long, sleek, and they're quiet. Mm-hmm. Cool. Anyway, the world of the future. <laughs> it could happen. So I won't get that panic when I hear the streetcar pulling up and I'm not at the corner yet. <laughs> it's like my body's trained to recognize. The Have you ever lived standard. along the streetcar line? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, is sometimes it? I, like, depend upon it. Right now I'm on a subway oh, line, which is good, and I just have to... Yeah. You know? <laughs> and of course, the big thing we well, I want to talk about because I know you're eager to jump in a bit, and but let's talk about defiance for a minute. Yeah, sure. Right. I mean, how how long does it take to get into makeup for for shoot cars? Oh, five, two three hours easy. It, yeah, no, no, no. I mean, an hour for the face. Right. Uh, depending on how much body I'm showing, it could be another hour with like body. Well, not even that long. Half an hour <laughs> for the body paint. Uh, the wardrobe is, is tricky. Uh, I have a lovely uh, dresser who helps me. Get it on. <laughs> I, I've, I've gotten pretty good at, at getting most of it on, but uh, it's tricky. I do need help. <laughs> Super Super needs help. Super help. I had this thought on the way in this one. I'm like, because you know we're we're into the second season. We're about to be in the second season in June. But I just thought. You you are like one of the pioneers for the show is what it's going to be because you are you have set the stage for this is what the Arathians are like. You are setting these are how they present yeah. themselves. You, I mean, ten years from now when people are talking about the show, they're like, and then talking about Arathians and Castanets, you're going to say, well, Sukar was the presenter yeah. of all this. Because yeah. you can't look to That's Arissa geeky. because she was raised by a human right. for the most part, so I mean, she's you're not like, necessarily you're like the first clean with her. Yeah. <laughs> That's Feeling really cool. <laughs> <laughs> about it. Uh, yeah, you know, it was. Uh, I mean, it, yeah, it was a real collaborative. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I mean, these guys, uh, David Peterson, who does the uh, the language, and he, I think he was. They also hired him on because he's my go-to guy, uh, creating the backstory for these guys, along with Kevin Murphy, mm-hmm. them deciding, you know, who. What races came from what planet? And mm-hmm. There's all the different names and whatnot, and when they came to Earth, and and uh, then you know you work with that. Then you get to set, and you get your wardrobe, and your yeah. makeup on, and then you get a feel for the character, and then you go to Stephanie. I mean, she's your main Irathian. Yeah, she was raised by humans, but you know, to me, I mean, she's going to be representing. So yeah. you got to go to her and say, "Listen, okay, what have you done so mm-hmm. far?" You know, uh, what have you guys decided? What has, uh, what has um, Michael Mann can come up to you and, and said, you know, this is going to work, or this isn't going to work, I don't want you to do this because I don't want you to be too Irathian. You know, you're coming in there 
and you're just a sponge. <laughs> take in everything right and then when you're ready you gotta you have to do your homework that's just it yeah you have to hit all the angles and then uh and then you get to come up with your own and uh not even your own you, you get to run it by everybody else too. Mm-hmm. yeah um <clears throat> for me it was like anthony quinn and then i uh i took him on uh, that sort of uh that maori kick from new zealand the maori warriors it was, right on uh, yeah some really cool pieces from them. And they were very earthy, uh, very spiritual. There's a, there was a, uh, a shaman who was, or I'm going to say shaman, he was, he was their, their spiritual leader. Mm-hmm. And he came across, he was such a strong force, but he was so soft and so beautiful and just had this, like, such a peaceful demeanor. Right. But meanwhile, he was like, he had that warrior spirit. And I was like, I showed the clip to Michael Mankin and he's, he just wrote me back perfect. <laughs> nice. So Sweet. that was it. Yeah. And so from there, you know, I took some from this, I took some from that, and and then you can, uh, you, I would go up to Stephanie, who plays a wrestler, and I, I'd say, what do you think about this? And she'd be like, yeah. That's <laughs> really cool. Or, you know, she'd give me the heads up because she's been asking questions the whole time and say, yeah, no, they didn't like that. Okay, well, we'll even <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. She's so little. <laughs> she's, she's so amazing, though, because when, when she's Stephanie, she's a completely different person. Like, we didn't even recognize yeah. her when we were first in the room with her. Yeah. Yeah. And then she, as soon as she puts on the makeup and the costume, she comp- becomes, she is Arissa. It is such That's a delight yeah. to work with her. Like, out of the many, many people that I've worked with, she is just yeah. right up there. She is so fun and so easy to approach and bounce ideas off of and so willing to rehearse stuff. Cool. People are, you know what I mean? And when you're speaking an alien language, <laughs> sometimes like a line that you had from last season will pop up in your head, and you just, what did I just do? <laughs> you know, she says that happens to her, and it's, uh, it's just light and easy, and we just have fun. <laughs> yeah, she's really cool. Yes, yeah, see, I still don't know anything. Well, except for Stocko, everybody knows yeah. Stocko. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> That's the only one I remember. I love that Jesse, it was Jesse Rath threw that into an interview that we were doing when we were on set too. But yeah, that's got to be a tough one. Can I repeat? Wow. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm gonna say that was accurate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Leave him go. Th- anyway, I didn't want to go there. But yeah, it's cool. Uh, what does that mean again? I think it means. Uh, I thought I. Uh, First season, when uh, when Rin shoots him, mm. oh yeah, and he says you shot me, and she <laughs> says you lived, and then he retorts, oh, I thought I taught you to shoot better than that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I'm so eager just to rewatch everything now on Blue right now that I've got wow. it because I watched everything and I haven't gone had time to go back to it yet. I'm just dying to go back now that I've been on the set now that we know some of the people it's just like I just <laughs> want to watch all of it all Wait, over again. season 2 is not starting till season June two? or something Wait, ridiculous no, it's not till June <laughs> I know <laughs> oh I hate that yeah. no, well. such a long way no, well. <laughs> I got at least I know what happens <laughs> but guys like season 2 we've uh, we, we got spoiled more than I wanted did to get see, spoiled did you see anything we didn't see anything, but no. th- but everybody shared They're a being lot. Pretty like, I'm careful, not gonna share anything with you. No, no. But I will say, wow. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, from a fan point of view, it's it's great. Before, I'm looking yes. forward to that. Yeah. I'm like, oh, because everything. Because by the end of season one, everybody. We know it jumps forward. What do they say? Like six it's months like or something. Eight or nine then, months. What, yeah. what did Grant say? It was like everybody starts off different. Insane baby. Oh yeah, it was nine months. Yeah. Enough yeah. for a psychopath to just. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Have you guys talked to Grant? Oh yeah, yeah. Twice <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Yeah. He's he's amazing. He's an amazingly nice guy. Yeah. Amazingly nice. Yeah. But then he can switch, and he is like at the helm of this thing, and going, "Okay, guys, let's do this, do this, do this." I love it. Yeah. I love that. I love that discipline. Yeah. Because yeah. we, somebody was telling like us that. Like he carries his passion lunch. for the project yeah. right through, like from yeah. start of the day to the end of it, and then like goes out and talks to people about how awesome it is. <laughs> that's, that's cool. 
Yeah. How do you sleep at night? <laughs> <laughs> How do you That's shut it down? Insane. But yeah, so we gotta wait till June. But we we learned stuff about the mayor or the ex mayor now, and the e reps in town, and the new mayor, and. Oh, I learned so much more. Like I just want to forget it all before June rolls around. Just yeah, cause, yeah. But I'm happy Sue Car is coming back and all. And I'm glad because there's not a lot of detail that we know. No, but we know we a lot of broad strokes. like vague. Yeah. yeah. So it, yeah, I guess it'll still I, be good to see how everything happens. I haven't even, even the stuff that we kind of. I hope you're okay. I hope Sue Car's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like I, I want to be like so defiant. Can I say that I'm coming back? I don't know. Like, is that okay with you? But. I think it is. The cat's out of the bag. Oh, totally. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we knew it was out of the bag. Well, I knew it was out of the bag as soon as we walked into the studio, and they've got, like, the uh, the picture, the the cast board. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah. All right, <laughs> guys back. Nice. All right. yeah. yeah, there's spoilers on that board. Yeah, be here if I wasn't coming back. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you're kind of locking up genre now. I mean, you've got Defiance, you've got Bitten starting, you've got what Bitten. four episodes on Bitten? I think so. Four right? episodes. Yeah. yeah, really cool characters who love it. Are you a mutt on Bitten? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Zachary Kane. Mm. Oh. Who wasn't too fond of his character description? I think he said he was smart, smart as a brick. <laughs> <laughs> like, How smart is that? Yeah, not very. <laughs> it doesn't sound very good. Is it an intelligent alien, Rick? <laughs> yes, yes. Speaking another language. Because <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> Automatically, to sound smarter, we'll just adopt a British accent. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I did that on the all the time. I said, I think this character should have a British accent. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go clever. You know, yeah. Draw. <laughs> Which was a set we didn't like, get no. to visit. We didn't get on no. we didn't get on that this year. Season two. Yeah, but we will. Because <laughs> we've chatted all of them as well at this point. We don't know what we talked about because they're we're not allowed to share anything, but we spoke Yeah, about I don't even yet. know either. Right. I'm nervous about tagging. Yeah. It's, yeah. But it's you're a mutt, that's all it's a mutt, yeah. Zachary is one he's one tough cookie. He's probably the the uh, the largest werewolf out there. So and he's a force to be reckoned with. No, you one of the ones yeah, because the guys them. in the pack aren't very big. You can take as far as like uh, size goes. Clayton's, I mean, he's a big guy. Yeah, that's true. Bigger anyway. I mean, I don't. Know. You could take him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. You get, you get pack power, <laughs> you can power from the family. Now, are you one of the ones that gets turned? Like, are you one of the people who? Because no. okay, you're uh, yeah. already yeah, yeah. established as it yeah. Were. My father uh, was a werewolf. I'm from a long line of werewolves. <laughs> you can say that with such a straight face, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a long history of fur in my family. <laughs> and, and if you get into the books, too, I think that, like, my character has, uh, well, I, yeah, can I say? Well, about the books, I mean, there's sure. books. Yeah. 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 I've only read the first the one so far. I think there's, uh, uh, Zachary has a, a, a few, uh, has two sons, I think, as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, one that is, I don't know if it happens later on in the books that he's, he dies or is dead. Mm. Um, but one's alive and plays a, a force later on mm. in the series. So we'll get through those before I remember. Yeah. yeah. I still, totally I've only read the first one because <laughs> yeah. that was the most important one as far right. as the season one goes. But yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. It starts, I think, Mid-January-ish, I think. It is. Yes, January, yeah. January 16th. 14th to 16th, yeah. Something around that. I keep getting that one. Confused with the start date for Helix. I know. But, uh, There's something else too. Helix. I can't remember. Oh my god! Good. Up. It looks fucked up. <laughs> it looks awesome. Future. It's uh, it's Alternative. like one of those. Uh, it's like a research center in the Antarctic or maybe the Arctic, and they're <laughs> working kind of on some kind of. They're playing with DNA, and the catch line is, "Playing God, pay the price," kind of thing. Uh, with uh, Billy Campbell, and it just looks really. From Ron Moore, that's what it is. From mm-hmm. Ron Moore. So. Oh, really? Yeah. So it looks like it could be uh, quite the little tense thing. IMDb. Yep. IMDb is your friend. <laughs> <laughs> so you, but you sound like you're a real genre fan. Yep. I mean, like you are in. My there. mother was. Yeah. And so I grew up with it. Your mother was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? Well, oh, she's a huge sci-fi fan. Yeah. Yeah. You name it. She's if it's a book, she's read it. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh yeah. 
It was because we used to get, I think, some of the only real family time we spent, which could just be a real sad commentary on my family, was <laughs> when Star Trek was aired. Like, yeah. both Next Gen and Classic, we would just sit there and watch them both. And yeah, that would be that would be family time. I remember when I was six years old being forced to watch uh, Alien. Oh, yeah. You know, you can watch this if you want, no, but it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, my brothers and my mom were sitting there watching it, and I'm running upstairs and coming down. <laughs> and then, of course, like the alien just comes out of the chest of the person. Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> six years old. Can't I see that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So did scar you for like yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're fine. You're fine now. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got that. You've done. You've done video game voices. You're. Yeah. You're like. You are everywhere. Yeah. You're just kind of taken over. What can it be more places? Do I? You know, I just had an audition for uh, the hundred. Mm. Uh, really? Yeah. That's cool. Like, looks kind of cool. Right? Yeah. We'll see. You never know if it fits, but. Yeah. Yeah, but it's trying. I mean. Well, that, they shoot that every yeah, cool, right? Oh, oh yeah. nice. So that'd be a trip out there. I love Vancouver, too. One province I haven't been to. Really? Yep. Haven't been to Vancouver. There's oh, like yeah, eight provinces I haven't been to. <laughs> if you go, go in August. Okay. August, oh. September, it's gorgeous. Is it still rainy? No. It usually <laughs> doesn't. <anyway. laughs> I promise nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Noah uh, said, said it was going to be fine. <laughs> we shot uh, Painkiller Jane at, in Vancouver. I remember that, too. And it was... Yep. Uh, I think it rained over 40 days straight. I started building an ark. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, this is it. This is it, boys. I was like, didn't they shoot the killing there, too? And it, like, rained every episode. Sure. <laughs> I yeah. was like, oh, my God. Which one? It's, it was supposed to be Seattle. Good for lighting, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's amazing. The, the yeah. reflections and whatnot, yeah. but yeah. it can get depressing. Uh, now, is there a worst onset experience you've had? My worst? You want to know about my words? Totally. <laughs> no, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm not asking you to badmouth anybody. Yeah, yeah, sure, but it was not yeah. a Steven Seagal movie. That's it. That's all I'll say. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. He's, He's probably not watching. <laughs> I didn't even realize he was still around. Uh, I'm just saying. That's <laughs> 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 I was actually thinking it. Uh, I think it was this morning. Even I kind of feel bad for the Defiance cast, just because so much is shot like outside or whatever. Like right? those people looked cold when oh. we were there. Second <laughs> season. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it was cold. Why don't you the shoot this summer? Have a shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> no, the wardrobe girls. They were very helpful. So <laughs> I was like, you're gonna be outside. You're gonna be cold. They, they want you bare chested, but come on. <laughs> please, please. Shukar so, would go out and hunt down some He's got his big anyway. fur, yeah, yeah right? Yeah. He's got that big fur on but, it. It keeps him a little bit warmer. But, I mean, he's, yeah. he's not a stupid guy. He would go out and kill something. It's like, yeah. there's my coat. Werewolf. Yeah. <laughs> buddy, you know, Shukar has that, it's that green, green yeah. fur. Yeah. My buddy was like, so, I saw you. Did you uh, kill Oscar the Grouch? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I didn't like the way he looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the costume design on that show is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, Simon yeah, is amazing. Just, yeah. I mean, she's done well, uh, The Immortals. I mean, that was her. And then I met her when I did Riddick. Uh, That's right. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the last Riddick movie. Uh, With Katie Sackhoff. And she is just brilliant. She just, she's, it's cool because for her, like, she has enough behind her now that mm -hmm. they just kind of let her go. And she gets to that point where she's like, she's in a room now, and you go in there with her, and she has all these different pieces, and she looks at you up and down, and, <laughs> and she looks at the wall and pictures, and she grabs a piece from here, and puts it on, and boom. And she helped create Sukar too, right? Wow. That's cool. Yeah, she was amazing in that whole sort of process. She was she was key. She was absolutely key. I think she's, she was key because she made Sukar so cool looking that it was right. hard to kill. I mean, how Sukar's died three times before <laughs> but he was so cool I think part of the thing was that he was such a cool character visually that they were just like, gotta bring him back you can't, yeah, you can't have him dead so yeah, she cares awesome yeah. I bought her a nice bottle of scotch and said thanks <laughs> <laughs> 
Thanks for keeping me yeah, alive. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, yeah, because two cars. For my looks. Well, everything on that show is awesome. What did we see in the in the production room? We saw the uh, oh the Spirit Rider camp, the, uh, the oh, production yeah. room for that. Oh, you saw that? Yeah. Oh, that nice. looks gorgeous. I'm like, that would have been a pain to shoot outside. Oh, but. it's stunning. It's magical too because they get the uh, I don't know they get all the the, the seeds, the d- dandelion seeds or whatever. But like you know how they float. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Light. I love it. And they always they have the big fans blowing them. <laughs> it's Christmas in summer. <laughs> it's kind of like, what is that? Listen, no, Tom. you've got lines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Chris had a moment. Remember the movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 A lot of that, that, yeah. that magic and the fairies yeah. and everything. Like, you're a fairy. It's nice. It's cool. Yeah. Oh, man. I cannot wait for more. Please hurry up. Yeah, it's cool. I know. June is too far. No, just I I just have to ask because I've grown a beard and I've got like this little guy. Oh yeah, and does that not drive you bonkers? Because right. I get to the as point. It drives my girlfriend bonkers. Yeah, because I was gonna say I, <laughs> when I grow in the beard, I can have the beard for like maybe three months, and it just then it just I got I just get all I like it's got to go. You should have seen it <laughs> when I when I started uh, when I started season two of Defiance. There's a reason why I can let it go. I, I let it go. <laughs> so, th- this is nothing. It's, it was oh, probably dude. three times this. <laughs> like ZZ uh, Top. <laughs> it was, but even Heading like that. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. And so eating with that <laughs> is ridiculous. That's exactly the group. My girlfriend would say, you look ridiculous. <laughs> As super. Can they not just kill your character off and you can shave, please? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm like, kiss. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> drip, drip, drip. <laughs> oh, no, I can't do it. No. It's got to be, at this point, it has to be nice and close because I, I can't do that. That would just drive me up the wall. You know what? It's, but, you know, I don't know. It's kind of like uh, I miss it. When I, I shaved it off after we did first season, mm-hmm. I went down and I, oh, my God, I feel, I felt naked. <laughs> It's a nice little. You keep touching oh, your face. Yeah, no, I love it. It's I mean, gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like, uh, and for me, like, we, it's, I, I went so long without it. Like, I would always have to be clean shaven and mm-hmm. get a roll here, have to shave clean, playing a, a, a cop or something like that. And then this has totally just changed the game for me. It's so nice, too. Like, I get all these really uh, different roles. Cool. Nice. Yeah, and I like, that's cool. More interesting. Huh. It's it, they're, f- they're few and far between now, a little bit. You know, right. But I find them better. I can bring a little bit more to them as opposed to, you know, you know, like, uh, you can bring what you can to a, an officer. Oh sure. <laughs> but you know, it's. I'd rather look at the guy in the dark beard. Right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I don't know. No, it's totally worth it. I just I respect the fact that you can do it because I cannot. I, I end up killing somebody. Probably myself. I'll often be walking down the street <laughs> and I'll see, like, what's this guy looking at? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, oh yeah, you have this ridiculous facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's like collecting snow and frost. <laughs> oh, yeah. Last night, I went out. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Yeah. I, was, I, I mean, mine. I came in and I had ice on <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I don't miss that at all. So you've got, of course, Defiance is June, Bitten's January. What else have we got on your plate? Uh, oh, Mesa. Mesa is also mm-hmm. uh, a little sci-fi martial art. Wicked. Yeah, it's pretty. Oh. And a Canadian production. And I think you're really going to see... Uh, I don't think you've seen a lot of martial art movies come out of Canada, to be honest. I can't think of any off the top of my head. And this is being uh, James Mark is the director and creator of this whole world, and it's a series for him. And uh, I play this guy named Jack Richards, and he is a bad boy. <laughs> really cool. And I like you know when you play the bad guy, it's um, it can be difficult to find things. You got to make them likable, right? Like yeah. every bad, every good bad guy yeah. is if is likable. Oh, totally. This is that fine line of where you tweak him to make him, you know, his little moral code is just a little skewed. <laughs> but maybe you can relate. That's the that's the that's trick the of the game, yeah. right? <laughs> uh, but this guy, he's something off and a lot of fun. To, we're still shooting. We've been sh- we're shooting in October, November, and December. We've had a couple of days, and now uh, we've uh, 
we're going into the studio now. We were doing a lot of exteriors mm-hmm. in uh, in September, October, and uh, and now we'll be we'll be inside. But it's uh, you know with these the independent productions they get drawn out yeah. a little bit yeah. because yeah. you know not with money just because you know people get busy Time. doing defiance sure. or things yeah. like that and, and you gotta work around it so nice. and these guys are great and this character is a lot of fun and on top of that the martial artists in this movie are, yeah we will now be on par I've cool. seen I've seen the footage and it, it's ridiculous I wish I could bring out my phone and show you like some wow. of the stunts off of bridges swinging down, and then the fight scenes. It is. It's top notch. Nice. Yeah. It's like we're in. We're in the. <laughs> we're in the ring now. Wait. Yeah. So and like, is it just? What's the word I'm looking for? Like, because you know you're not using wires. Like, is there a wire work or is it just? Well, they have wire. I mean, I guess uh, James comes from a, uh, a stunt background as okay. well, and he owns his own, uh, or he owns. Uh, his own martial arts studio along with his brother right and he's been in the finance world and, and, and he's a remarkable guy and uh, he's brought this project to him, which is very Blade Runner-esque with sort of martial arts okay yeah I'm in yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm there so yeah you'll be pleasantly surprised but oh <laughs> his, his younger brother plays like the lead in it right and he is sick talented. He's, I mean, he's been in the business too at a very young age. He's been like Mortal Kombat, and uh, they they were the stunt team on uh, what's that movie uh, where they played the the video games? Uh, Double Dragon, uh, Mortal Kombat, uh, uh, Street Fighter. <laughs> no, and it's it, you the, it's versus uh, it's Tom. This is like a regular. Oh, game. Scott Pilgrim versus Scott Pilgrim. Pilgrim. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> Those guys. Man, were, were they, we off? <laughs> uh, he was uh, he was the double of. Uh, Wow. Of him throughout that movie. So all those fight scenes, right? It's, a, it's actually his yes. Asian brother, which is kind of funny because... <laughs> but whatever, yeah. And he can fly. Wicked. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to keep my ear to the ground for that one. That yeah. sounds wicked. And they're flying their crew in from Vancouver. Like, all the stunt guys from all over the place. Even a guy who was on Defiance. He's like, oh, you're... Uh, he came on to help as a daily <laughs> right. on Defiance. He's like, oh, my God, you're Jack Richards. And, and he goes, you... And I said, just wait. I came out an hour later. He goes, oh, my God, you're so great. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that brings me up to another story. Uh, do you guys know Roger Cross? Yeah, uh, not personally, yeah, yeah, but, but you know, he, we we're know trying to him. get him. Yeah. Yeah. I know Roger. I worked with him uh, on uh, uh, Flashpoint here mm-hmm. in Toronto. Yeah, because he's on everything. He does everything. <laughs> he's he's, he's always on the strain here. Right? Yep. Yep. And so he saw me, he's like, I'm, I'm, and he said, oh, I'm working with Guillermo del Toro. And I was like, whoa, that's amazing, Roger. <laughs> and, and he goes, what are you doing? And I said, well, uh, I'll just show you. And I had a picture of, of, uh, of me in Defiance. And I held it up, I go, look. And I brought it up. And he looked. He said, sure. Can I swear? Yeah. Do it. Yeah. He goes, you're fucking Sukar. <laughs> 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 and I, I go, yeah, you watch the show? He goes, I love the fire. <laughs> I go, you didn't know that was me. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was pretty neat. That's so cool. He was a big fan of Sukai. Right? <laughs> That's awesome. But nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> Not even my friends. <laughs> but they'll call you if you're in a video game. Right, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That is so cool. Oh my <laughs> God. That was a funny little story, yeah. That would be wicked. I would love that. I want to get him on the show so bad. We're actually working on yeah. when he's back in town doing Yeah, he's not in town. Now. He just laughed at yeah. Us, yeah, they were like, he's only in, De- in December. He's only here for a very, very short time, but they're like, maybe in the new year. Yeah. Look at it. Because he's in everything. Yeah, man. Good for Roger. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, you said you're a genre fan, and, and you, you would watch Defiance even if you weren't on it. Yeah. What else do you watch? What are you addicted to television-wise? Well, I was I just powered through uh, uh, Breaking Bad. That was my, and I, I didn't want. I was one of those guys who jumped on and watched it all within two months. Right? Yeah, that's, yeah. Anyway. that's what I'll have to do yeah. to the end. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> yeah. um, what's next for me? I love uh, um, Homeland. Mm. Homeland's amazing. Homeland show. Mm. What else do I, I mean? Yeah. So. I, what sci-fi shows do I like? I mean, I loved Lost. I thought that was just brilliant. Um, what other TV? Yeah. You know what I'm really looking forward to, though? The Hobbit. 
I just saw it this morning. You did? Yep. Yes, yeah. I did. Um, it's you better can than, tell me it was a no, film. No, no it, it's, it's, it's a stronger film than the first one. Oh, good. Because the first oh. one's all set up. It's yeah. so much set up. But I still loved it. Yeah, I to liked me, it. it was magic. Whereas right? this one, it Has was a stronger Lily. film. Good. Yeah, I walked out of it going, I'm satisfied. I mean, there were a couple times where I thought, okay, you're going to end it here, so because everything's everything's really dark, and it's all cliffhangers for the next movie. And then kept going, kept going, kept going. Oh, you're going to end it here. All right, I'm good with that. So. <laughs> you you yeah. mean it has Kate? Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, it does. That's how we will refer to her. <laughs> <laughs> her name. No, she's Kate. <laughs> it's such a long name to say. Yes. Sorry, Kate. Sorry, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> and she looks really good as an elf. I know. So, yeah. But yeah, I really enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, they didn't have to so. do much to her. She practically is an elf. Yeah. <laughs> she's just oh, that awesome. I love it. Yeah. yeah, I really enjoyed it. What is her quote, too, that's in the commercials? Too? Can you say? Oh. Um, what is Legolas says something? It's, it's, like, not, it's not my concern. It is your concern. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I melt. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'll be her concern anytime. <laughs> yes. Yeah, just yeah. It was it was good fun. I really enjoyed it. I love where, where did you see it. it? Uh, down at Squish Bank IMAX. All oh, 3D and everything. Oh yeah. yeah. You're gonna go go big. IMAX too, right? Yeah. Top <clears throat> row center. No, that that had been sold out. I was like I was like third row back, which is where I tend to sit for IMAX. Third row. Yeah. So third row from no, the top. No, third row from the front. Come on. Are yeah. You I just sit right there. That way, it's like everywhere. So that's all I can see. And you like that? <laughs> I would sit right in front of my television like this if I could wow. all the time. Yeah. Oh, good for you. Yeah. That's different. I was told not to do that as a child. <laughs> Me too. So, which is why I do it now. So, but yeah, it's good fun. Where do, you, where do you like the? If you sit IMAX, where do you sit? Um. I'm I'm usually off to a side whether yeah. I'm in IMAX or not, but uh, yeah, that's, that's really true. just because I don't like people and I get antsy if I'm in the middle of a row. High five. <laughs> I started getting a little. <laughs> that's like, true. I yeah. really like, got to one side where I yes. have like a bit of personal <laughs> space left. <laughs> Like, Tim knows whenever we go to a, oh, yeah. a regular screening, yeah, there's, like, it. that row of seats right at the top of the stairs. So there's, like, a little uh, barrier there. And uh, we get a little bit of extra foot room. We can yeah. put... It's, like, a row of four. And nobody else sits no, with us, sister. usually. Yeah. So we can just yeah. spread out. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Coat. Coat. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> coat. Yeah. Backpack. Go. Yeah. Popcorn ah. flavor yeah. right in the middle yeah. so that we can share it. Yeah. Shake it all over so we yeah. can <laughs> <laughs> Totally do that. Can I get another package of white cheddar? <laughs> yeah. Spill your pep just buy coke. Yeah. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, you might not want to sit there. Yeah. It's wet. It's wet. <laughs> it was an accident. <laughs> Especially at the Scotia Bank, because they've got the uh, the coke freestyle thing yes, where you pick do. your flavors or whatever. Yeah, we just you do just keep <laughs> 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 oh, it. Right. Right. It's those guys again coming for another movie. <laughs> this, you guys go in there like, mm-hmm. <laughs> our, our pictures on the you, wall. Yeah. Like, it could I just get a popcorn? <laughs> I just shave. They won't. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's Your so fucking cool. Sukar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. That's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, man. That that's that's brilliant. I think that's that's probably our, <laughs> that's probably a good probably spot a perfect to spot to wrap it up. <laughs> that was fantastic, Noah. Thank you for coming in because. Loving the show. Can't wait for it to come back. Oh, I know. Yeah. I Can't mean, wait for Bitten to start. Right. Cool. Space is, uh, space is threatening to send us a screener. So. Oh, nice. Well, yeah. you, I, yeah. I swear. I yeah. swear. I'll bet you 50 bucks you'll love it. Oh, yeah. I have no doubt. Oh, yeah. But I'll bet you a beer. <laughs> you know. 50 bucks. <laughs> well, well, I'll bet you a beer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, 50 beers then. <laughs> yeah. First of all, Laura is awesome. Right. We've talked to her a few yeah. times, oh. and we just like... Yeah. She's so nice. Is you can she tell really? she's Canadian because yeah. she's like a nice yeah. girl. Absolutely. Yeah. Canadian woman and, and being with her on set, as beautiful as she is outwardly, like she's just, it's funny. Like I, I said to the, my friend, I said, she, it's just like being with one of the boys, but she still is very ladylike. Yeah. You know? She'll laugh mm-hmm. at your crass jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it really, she's She'll the top it sometimes. Werewolf, right? Yeah. Right? yeah. And so she's surrounded by all this, this huge male like force. And so, of course, you know, when all the guys get together, we get a little crass and blah, blah, blah. And, and, and she'll she'll laugh and do this and that. And, but she's still very ladylike. <laughs> I mean, and I was like, yeah. I like you. Yeah. You're 
Very cool. Yeah. Although now I am curious, and this I think we'll wrap it up nicely. Did Graham Green pull any pranks on you at all? No, not yet. He hasn't. Not yet. He hasn't. Okay, because why is he a prankster? That's what we've heard. Yeah, we've uh, he told us that he <laughs> used an unplugged van, like people's trailers, so there's no electricity and Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I totally lost power. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's who totally took a crap in my toilet. See? Graham Green crapped in my toilet. I need a t-shirt that says Graham! <laughs> Coming for you. Graham, Graham Green crapped in my toilet. toilet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yep. Honk if Graham Green crapped in your toilet. <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble. That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> wow. Awesome. No, that was great. Okay, cool. So much fun. <laughs> so, Tim, thanks for coming out. Always. Lindsay Lewis behind the scenes, working this thing. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks, dude. And for those watching at home, thank you wherever and whenever you are. And we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Bye. Bye. <laughs>